Hello there, viewer, and welcome to another SOS reading. I hope you're doing well out there. So, viewer, I want to go ahead and find out what is your SOS messages and what do you need to know currently about your situation, okay, for the viewer. What does the viewer need to know? Your heart's been purified, so trust that. You're coming into a new situation as well when it comes to receiving some... Um, Something when it comes to getting even more fluid with your emotions, opening up your heart, also opening up um, or enhancing your abilities here, your special abilities. I'm picking up very special, um, uh, unique energies from you, viewer. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and your success. So viewer, right now, Spirit is saying if you're feeling alone or you're feeling challenged, it's because you're really meant to be very strong at this time. A lot of you guys too may resonate with past life memories coming through or there's a sense of just feeling or being an old soul. Okay, so trust that you guys are really meant to really come into your own individuality. And also I'm getting like, I'm actually getting um, creative powers going on too and a big time uh, channel for divine messages or healing powers for a lot of you guys, your ability to do something that's very, very um, meaningful, purposeful, um, and very healing for uh, others in the world, depending on, you know, where you're at in your, your journey here. So you guys are really creating something that is very, very strong for you. So just trust your path at this time. Okay, viewer. Um, so viewer, I also wanted to uh, throw in an extra question. I want to find out too, um, for you, how will you know that this is your reading for the viewer? How will the viewer know that this is their reading? A lot of you too are going to be getting more than enough to really take care of yourself as well. How will the viewer know that this is their reading? Yeah, you know what's best for you. And another thing that you know how this is your reading is you guys have really dealt with a situation where, <laughs> yeah, in the past you might have felt like, wow, something really was deceptive or you might have felt like a fool. Don't feel like a fool because you're actually a wise fool. You definitely have learned something. A lot of you guys kind of intuitively knew something. There have, may have been something on your path, um, you know, where you guys just had to learn a really hard lesson when it comes to deception or lies or what, you know, maybe there was an unveiling of a truth that was very off-putting, whatever it is. You'll know that this is your reading because you definitely have this thing about you and your soul and your spirit that you absolutely know something is better for you. And there, there's something strong coming in here with authority here, a boss energy here, okay? We've got independence. We got this moose spirit authority. And also accept your follies and find the teaching in them, right? So if you found something that was displeasing, just know that you guys really are learning something from this. And I was getting this thing about your heart or challenges being purified. It's like you guys are really, um, viewer, you're going <laughs> to, you're going to come out even more transformed, magnificent, and stronger than you ever thought. Some of you might be feeling like you're on your own right now. So this is how you're going to know this is your, um, your reading. So let's continue and find out what else you need to know about your situation, viewer. Okay. So viewer, if you find these uh, messages don't resonate for you at all, then either click off or feel free to check out the past Oracle messages or SOS readings or pick a card readings. Those are all timeless. Okay. So what else does a viewer need to know? <clears throat> You're going to have the people and the support that you need. Some of you guys, if you are feeling alone or independent, I don't know why I'm picking nine of pentacles energy coming through here, viewer. Um, a lot of you guys are coming into some type of new radiance within you, a new sense of self-esteem. Um, yeah, so support is all around you. So viewer, I was kind of getting this thing here too. If you've been feeling like, wow, you've had to change your path or change a direction, or move out on your own or some kind of, you know, whatever it is. 
just know that you're coming into a situation where you can trust others and you'll be traveling with others or maybe a person here, okay? I really get a sense of renewal and happiness for you, viewer, okay? What else? And maybe for some with this wise fool, there was a situation where you felt like you knew better and you felt like you got fooled, right? But don't. There was something, it was almost like something had happened to be a catalyst for your, um, your strength and your independence here that's bringing a lot of you guys actually some type of financial gain and stability on your path as well, okay? And you're not going to be left alone. I don't know why I'm picking up air, uh, actually fool's card coming through. Aries energy is coming through here, viewer. Okay, so what else for the viewer? Yeah, ten of wands. There's something that, okay, <clears throat> I do feel for some of you guys, it might be time to change something up so that you guys can free yourself from duties or obligations. I mean, we do have this card of oppression here, so we may need to figure out what we need to delegate or give up, or some of you guys just need to know that you're coming to an end of really feeling tired and burdened, and it's time for a new change. I kept getting this energy of fool's card too, viewer, so I do feel that there's a sense of um, a freeing of the soul and the spirit when it comes to, you know, everyday obligations, but some of you, may need to for some of you viewers there may be something here with um maybe ambition has become uh, um too much to keep up with and so there may be we might some of you might have overdone something here when it comes to um too much going on i do feel some of you guys are working a lot so um, I, I want to say if you're feeling that, because I do feel this thing, maybe for some feeling drained or exhausted, um, it's time to, it's time to take control back and start delegating so that you're making some room to have a little bit of fun and joy because you are going through changes. <laughs> um, Aries Leo Sagittarius is coming through with the 10 of wands there. Also, if any of you guys are feeling bad or guilty about a situation, don't. It's, it, there's nothing that you're obligated to do except for be the best version of yourself. Remember that, okay? What else for the viewer? And a lot of you viewers are meant to really experience a very strong confidence about your own um, masculinity, femininity, sexuality, okay? your own confidence about what you're doing, because I see something about an entrepreneur here as well, or a born entrepreneur. Persevere. So whatever you're doing right now, just make sure you're completing something. This is very interesting because we've got the 10 of wands and we've got this uh, dig it, dig in and see it through to completion. So I am picking up nine of wands energy too so make sure you don't leave anything undone try to have fun for some of you guys because i do feel that there may be a challenge with that right because we might be feeling a little bit mm, not so happy about what has gone on in the past right um yeah you might have found something out about some people here too that was just not 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 awesome uh okay but that's okay because really what that if you think about it in hindsight it actually made you guys uh, come into your own um, spiritual gifts and awareness about others and what's going on, okay? So make sure that you are doing any something and completing it. I do feel that there's something about you guys too. You know, your independence is a, um, is a foundation for your strength and your success. So just make sure you're finishing things, completing things, but also make sure you're taking some time out when you're done to go to relax, to go have fun, whatever it is, okay? You're getting ready to just... Put all of the wands down. You're ready to get rid of the burdens or that heaviness that you've been feeling or maybe even a block. And that might be for some of you guys. Okay, now for some, you could have taken on so much that you that it's actually causing a block. Okay, so it's time to delegate, get rid of whatever, um, and make sure you are completing those things are, that are important though. What else?
Yeah, you have all the resources you need. So viewer, you just need to call forth and go forward here no matter what. Spirit is gonna, well, that one wants to show itself. Spirit wants to provide you everything that you, you need here. There's something about your mind. Uh, there's something about getting very creative and strategic as well. There may be something here with um, a lot of you guys with creativity, arts, but something that you're forming or inventing into your own uh, that could be very profitable and a really good opportunity, okay? So make sure that you guys have confidence in knowing what's best for you. Um, the resources are going to show up. Just use them wisely, okay? And <laughs> we got this card of retreat. So I do feel with that 10 of wands, we need to stop trying to make something happen. And that could be making you guys tired as well. Okay, viewer, trying to make something happen. We're, we're pushing something too hard. And I have learned not to push. When you're pushing and you start getting exhausted, that's, that's you forcing something to happen. Or there may be a program here within the mind here that we, we're having to keep going. We have to keep going, but there's something about you guys opening yourself up to receiving. So enjoy the journey. There's it's something about you too, viewer, about enjoying the journey and not, you know, rushing through anything at this time. Stop trying to make th something happen. But what I'm really getting is it's mostly like go have something. Yeah, stop trying to make something happen, but go out and have fun. Go do something different as well for some of you, okay? Um, what else for the viewer? And just, you know, with the sea turtle, just kind of go with the uh, the current of the ocean here and just kind of glide. Especially with uh, ideas, with wisdom, with the things that you've gained on your path, even though it was uncomfortable. Yeah, be strong. Oh my goodness, you are so strong. Viewer, I know whatever is going on is, whatever is going on is, is making you guys have to really dig your the deepest part of your spirit to really um, have confidence and, and to stay strong within your spirit right now. Spirit is letting you guys know, viewer, you're stronger than you think you are. And, you know, look at this. We even have this thing about your strength and your success. So your strength, <laughs> listen to this, you're stronger than you think you are and your strength sure is a happy outcome. Your strength, look at this. We've got bass, we've got this independence. We got know what is best for you. We got the wise fool here because you are a wise leader and teacher because you're willing to be a fool at times, okay? And I'm not saying you were a fool viewer. I'm just saying that there was, you know, everybody has to go through things where, <laughs> yeah, we have to, we have to change. We have to um, realign ourselves. We have to gain our confidence. We have to put faith into what's going on and keep continuing our path. A lot of you too. Um, I, I kept getting this nine of pentacles or, you know, there's just definitely a sense of abundance and independence that you guys are really, um, either in or you're supposed to really come into the fullness of that fruition okay of of really doing something very um meaningful for you um and also enjoying the comforts of life and enjoying your own independence as well okay um what else for the viewer yeah See, there's something about you guys going out and having fun. Don't don't try to make anything happen at this time, you know, because I feel that that's at the Ten of Wands kind of energy. So to recapture romance, if you guys are wanting love or romance, just go out and have fun. Do whatever you guys can do to put yourself in a state of joy. Now, if you're already in a situation um, with someone with uh, and, and there may be a hard time with <laughs> getting romance started, uh, then we need to go back to being youthful again, okay? And just going out and have, having fun and, and being lighthearted here. Um, and I'm getting this message of not taking life so seriously either, viewer. Okay? Be playful and um, concentrate on your strengths because you're coming through very, very strong, viewer. You've got a very strong spirit. Okay? What else?
Yeah, divine passion. Be honest with yourself and what and what is your heart's true desire? Because a lot of you viewers are a channel for divine passion and creativity. Um, a lot of you may resonate as a medicine man, medicine woman, a healer, a light worker, whatever. Just know that you guys are meant to really born, uh, or excuse me, you're meant to create. You're, you were born to create and you're also meant, there's something about you experiencing passion, chemistry, life life force something might happen here that could get very explosive <laughs> with this um romance thing as well i'm seeing something about a divine partner here a divine passionate uh partner here okay for a lot of you guys what else This one wants to show itself too. Yeah, there's something about taking an opportunity, taking a risk when when it shows up here because I feel a lot of you viewers are going to be given an opportunity here, okay? So maintain inner peace at this time. There's something about retreat for some of you guys. And if you notice, we're retreating. We're tr there's something about practicing being in the present moment as much as possible, even though it could be very challenging because we might be feeling a little sad or alone or like time is, you know, at a standstill for when it, for, for things that we're wanting or desiring. Know that you're really coming into some type of new comfort in your life though, viewer, and you really are being divinely um, guided at this time to really maintain that inner peace because you maintaining that inner peace is going to be, you know, if you think about it, Whatever is going on, maintaining inner peace takes a lot of strength, okay? More strength than you know. And remember, it's your strength that's going to assure a happy outcome for you, okay? Um, yeah, there may be something here with being superstitious for some of you guys. But what I'm seeing is a thing about fate, taking a risk. Pay attention to... Um, Oh, look at this. We've got four leaf clovers. Um, we've got lucky number sevens here. There may be something here for a lot of you too that, you know, there may be some type of special um, item or amulet or something that you hold um, that's very sacred for you. So keep your hope alive and know that destiny and fate is working out in your favor. Okay. Lady luck is on your side here, viewer. What else? This one wants to show itself. Okay, surprises. See, there is going to be some type of surprise here. And we have this card of fate. Um, so venture down the rabbit hole. There's something about taking an opportunity and taking a risk when it shows up here. Um, but we have to pay attention to be in the present moment here. And I will say for, for those viewers that have a lot going on, this really is the time that you've got to look at what it is um, what you're feeling obligated to and what your responsibilities are because there is a definite need to kind of release something here, okay? Let's see. Opportunity. Oh my goodness, look at this. Opportunity. Told you. There is an opportunity coming, so there's no use looking for luck. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We are just talking about lady luck here. Listen to this. Listen to this. Oh, spirit's so on your side, viewer. There's no use looking for luck. It arrives at unexpected times. And we literally had this surprise card here. You're going to get an opportunity that's going to happen at, an unex at unexpected times. And the more you stop trying to control it, the better off you're going to be. Okay. What else? the tower holy moly we're just talking about surprises and opportunity this is going to be a big change here I kept getting something kind of explosive new 
Um, oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, there's going to be a big surprise here and venture down the rabbit hole. Yeah, I feel that there has been. Okay, for a lot of you, whatever has happened, whatever foundation in the past or whatever you thought was, you know, real or your reality did come crashing down. But take it if it resonates. But right now in general, viewer, there is a shocking surprise change happening when it comes to your own strong foundation. You know, the tower is, um, it's like the divine will destroy anything that's on your path that is false or not secure for you. So you have to trust this time of enlightenment, which a lot of you, this tower isn't a bad thing. So don't look at this as a bad thing. This is some type of huge revelation, some type of huge surprise and change. And also I'm getting in this, um, this tower of someone unexpected that's supposed to be on your path here. Okay. This is why your independence is the, you know, your independence is, is a foundation uh, for your, excuse me, I'm reading that all wrong. Your independence, independence is a foundation for your strength and your success. So trust whatever was um, thrown out or destroyed before, it's because it's time for something solid. I want to get a little bit more too. Let's just get a little bit more because I do feel um, a lot of you guys, there's something about someone, a, a big change in your life here. Surprise change. Let's get a little bit more with the tower for the viewer. Give me a little bit more with this tower for the viewer. <laughs> it's just so, it's just so funny because it's like, there's no use looking for luck. It arrives at unexpected times, and this is unexpected. Yeah, you're going to receive the... Hmm. It's going to be it's definitely something that is involving love here, okay? It's involving love, so make sure... I'm getting Queen of Cups and King of Cups energy coming through here, so make sure whatever you're doing to be in the energy of love, love yourself and others and every situation, no matter what the outward. Okay, listen to this viewer, no matter what the outward appearances may be. So if things have been destroyed or things have been, that things have fallen apart or whatever, don't pay attention to that outward appearance. It's, there's something about love right now and receiving that unconditional love. There's a flame for you too. I'm getting this thing about a flame here for you. Mm-hmm. What else for the viewer? Rest. <laughs> okay, let's go back to that because we had this card of retreat. Stop trying to force or make things happen, right? And we got the Ten of Wands, which is a card of being tired, overworked, burdened. So slow down. You don't have to solve everything today, viewer. Slow down. Enjoy the journey. Have fun. Do things. Know that you have really, uh, you really have come very far here. So take time to rest and slow down so you're not burning yourself out. What else? And maybe for some of you guys, maybe you did find your passion, but it's like, you know, you're now you're trying to have to, or you will have to find the balance between your passion, your work, your career, you know, all of these things. Um, Cause it is easy to get burned out on things when you're really passionate. Cause you could be kind of tunnel visioned about it uh, for some. Okay. So yeah, maybe for some, it's just about taking that time and realigning yourself, reassessing, making a little bit more room for some you know, um, much needed uh, rest time, play time, you know, all of that. Be in the present moment. Look at this. So we got this card of journey, right? And right here it says present. Journey into the garden to escape the two eternities, the past and the future. Oh boy. There's definitely this splitting of energy. So viewer, I'm really getting very strong. Take it if it resonates. There's something going on with um, past life um, experiences playing out in this lifetime and also something about your soul too. There's just something um, very ancient about it as well. So 
you've got to stay in the present moment so that it's and that's that this is this this whole thing about this inner peace here um, journey into the garden to escape the two eternities right so that you're not in the past and you're not in the future and we're not stuck get unstuck just by being in the here and now as much as possible um, you may have to get creative on how to do that maybe it's meditating playing music uh, writing affirmations going out retreating doing things or you know whatever you can do um, take time to nurture yourself I'm seeing something about not only being in the present moment, but you're receiving a gift, a present here. What else for the viewer? Another thing, so there's another thing about garden. So I don't know for some of you viewers, whether you have a garden or not, there's something about being out in nature, maybe being by water as well. I'm seeing water, I'm seeing nature to get recharged. There's something about your soul and your spirit connecting to those earth energies to get re-energized. Um, your garden is a healing place. Seek refuge there to heal your soul. Yeah, look at this, to heal your soul and find that inner peace, okay? so that we're not conflicted, we're not feeling like we're sp split into two realities. What else for the viewer? Oh. <laughs> just go ahead and do it. So right now it's just being productive. Make sure you do take some time out though. But I do feel that there's something about, for some of you guys, you know, after you're getting that much needed rest, there's something about, um, I don't know, creativity and a spark of divine um, energy coming through here. So a lot of you may get inspired to do something or take action. So be productive and just do it. And that's something that I was kind of getting, making sure that you're completing what you need to in, a, you know, in your day or whatever. Um, and then, you know, making sure that you do take that time to rest and be done with it. What else for the viewer? Didn't I, I swear I was saying that, right? Yeah, purification viewer. I really am getting this. You, you're going through a sense of purification and it's beautiful. So it's time for a oh, it's time for a cleansing detoxification of your mind of your body and your mind. Some of you guys are already doing this, um, and so you just need to maintain what you're doing and just have patience with yourself. Okay, um, don't add more things to yourself though. Don't add more things to do. I think that's kind of a secret here. Just make sure you're just doing things, completing things, and also taking on opportunities. There's something about you guys. Um, you know, there's something about taking an opportunity here. Where's that lady? Yeah. Taking a risk here. Okay. So I feel a lot of you guys are really rising up, um, in your situation and you really need to trust that you are more than you realize <laughs> you really are spirit and having a human experience here. Okay. Um, there's something that's very divine going on with you in this purification process. So for some of you guys, I do feel that there is this real need to kind of just stay in this energy of being present so that, you know, because being in the present moment is actually releasing a lot for you. Okay. In a more effortless fashion. What else for the viewer? And I, um, again, there's just uh, the purification of your, there's some type of purification when it comes to your heart and expansion as well. Oh, there's a card that flipped over already. Let's see. <laughs> and adapt. Okay, look, f there's this card of wall. Some of you guys might feel like a wallflower, right? Look for the crack in the concrete to find your way out. Okay. I kept getting something about your, your mind and creative ways or inventive ways of thinking. There's something that's going to call forth being strategic 
or looking at things differently here. Um, Spirit's just reminding you guys, whatever, whatever has happened in the past or whatever has recently happened and what's about to happen, it's all, it's all good, okay? So you will get yourself where you want to be. That's very, very funny because we have this card of adapt. Look for the crack in the concrete to find your way out and you'll get yourself where you want to be. And you literally have that here. You know what is best for you. What else for the viewer? Two of wands, not surprised. Yeah, I, I really feel that this is about, okay, viewer, you really are coming into a situation where you're going to expand your experiences, expand your horizons. There may be something with um, travel or, or reaching farther for some of you guys. I do feel a very strong thing about partnerships. Um, and I do feel that there is for some a feeling at being at a crossroads or, you know, we're having uncertainty about making a decision and moving forward. Um, so, you know, just go ahead and do it. Okay. Maybe for some it's planning and deciding and then acting on. Okay. So you need to trust some, at some point there is something about, um, for some of you guys really coming out of a, a situation that could have been very uncomfortable, but also you getting out of your comfort zone, um, so that you can get these experiences. And I'm, I'm telling you viewer, you've got someone here that is definitely a fellow traveler. I mean, we, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, there's definitely someone here that is like really, um, on the same path you know there's just something about a mutual having mutual values and visions about things as well okay what else for the viewer and a lot of you viewers need to know what came crashing down or what didn't work out was in order to bring in and to fill it in with solid unconditional love Wow, yeah. There's something going on when it comes to feeling overwhelmed or confused here. Don't just, it's, there's something about just allowing, okay, for some, I'm just, why am I getting something about your like dreams and imagination and allowing it to just be now? It's something about being in the present moment, not worrying about what to attain or what's going on in the mind. We might be confused, okay? I want a little bit more with the seven of um, cups here for the viewer. Yeah, I feel for some, there may be something with watching out, um, you know, temptation can lead astray here with the Seven of Cups. Give me a little bit more with the Seven of Cups for the viewer. Yeah, I mean, we got more about rest. <laughs> this card wants to show itself, so we'll look at that in a second here. Look, Four of Swords is coming out. Another card of retreat, another card of rest, another card of healing or um, meditation for some. Okay. Uh, there is something strong when it comes to visions and maybe um, stirring of new dreams or dreams that want to come and be realized through you, okay? Because we do have this divine passion. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? And look, we got all of these cups here and we could be kind of confused because we're overwhelmed and we're not you know, getting the clarity that we need. So make sure that you guys are taking time out to rest, recuperate, regenerate yourself. Um, and also there's something significant here when it comes to getting um, angel messages, um, angel healing, receiving divine messages for yourself. Okay, viewer. And a lot of you viewers too, you're opening up yourself for a lot of options when it comes to different ways of healing and getting rest um, more than you know, okay? Let's see what this card is. Ho, ho, told you, that son of a gun. 
<laughs> Seven of Swords. I mean, I could see it with this coyote the energy here. There was deception here. Mm -hmm. I mean, showing up here. Okay. I Okay. And I do see something. A lot of you guys, some of you viewers, you may need to get very strategic um, when it comes to your own... Um, your own time or something about solitude time. Um, you may need to sneak away just to get that time or something like that. But I do feel a lot of you viewers, there was a situation where we're healing a deceptive um, past here or there was some type of real, hmm, yeah, I just feel... There's something going on here, viewer, that you need to pay attention to when it comes to the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Swords. So make sure you're taking the time to rest um, and you're not putting yourself in a position to get confused because there's something about you maintaining your integrity, your energy to receive the right messages um, and also to get the right amount of healing or the, the right amount of rest that you need here, okay? Some of you guys felt like you were strung along. Why am I picking that up with that seven? Yeah, like it just causes more confusion and it kept, yeah, something. Okay, so take that time out. What else for the viewer? Reconciliation. Oh my gosh. There's something about um, someone from the past is returning to your life. Let me get a little bit more too, because I do get something about, yeah, for some of you guys, you may get an apology here. Uh, for some, there definitely could be a um, forgiveness of a past person or a situation here, okay, with this reconciliation. So um, I'm seeing a peaceful resolution for a lot of you guys, no matter what the outcome is. I want a little bit more with this reconciliation for the viewer. Someone from your past is returning to your life. This could also be a past life uh, person um, as well, because I keep getting something about a past life with you, viewer, okay? Give me a little bit more with this reconciliation. And seeing like reconciling differences as well. Yeah, remain positive. Whatever resolution or reconciling, whatever is going to happen, it will happen, okay? So viewer, just remain positive. Um, whatever past situation needs to be healed or reconciled, it will be. Okay, so remain positive. This is a secret uh, because remember, you're getting ready for uh, big changes here. Okay, what else for the viewer? And then I'm also getting this message too. There's something or someone from the past that for some of you guys you've been thinking about and um, stay, remain positive. And it's not necessarily someone you had a bad thing with, okay, for some of you guys. Look for a sign, opportunity, surprise. Look for the sign, and then we got the tower. So spirit really is talking to you. Uh, pay attention to synchronicities. Uh, pay attention to things that kind of just um, really... Uh, you know, pop out to you, look for a sign. I mean, look, we got, you know, got this lightning bolt too. I'm um, usually in the tower, you can see a lightning bolt, but yeah, it's a big surprise and big divine intervention is going to happen for you viewer big time because you're deserving of it. What else? Yeah. Easy does it. So you don't need to hurry. I mean, look at the sea turtle here. So it's something about you guys not hurrying here. Be in the present moment. Don't worry about time. Don't worry about age. Don't worry about years. Don't worry about the past. Don't worry about the future. Do whatever you guys got to do. Again, some of you guys, it might be going back to your creative arts, your inventive arts, your passions, your um, whatever it is, what, whatever it is, okay? You need to honor yourself because the thing is, is you're not alone. You may feel alone, but you definitely have angels and a strong spirit guide that is definitely guiding you, putting you in positions to really step into your power and to really know who you are and to know your own strengths. There's no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is happening 
and occurring in perfect timing. And we've got this divine uh, intervention with the tower. We got Lady Luck. So it's all happening in divine timing for you. You can't force this. You really just can't. Uh, what else for the viewer? What else for the viewer? Sacred space. So I do feel for some of you guys, it might be, um, you might have to get very strategic or figure out a sacred space. I'm getting that. I mean, look at this four of swords. So create an altar or for some of you guys, you might want to take a retreat or go visit a power place to connect with the divine. Maybe it's some uh, something about nature or being out in nature or water. Um, and so that you, you know, this is about you guys really coming into a sense of uh, peace, serenity, and also important um, prophetic, prophetic, prophetic messages coming to you about your future. But I feel for a lot of you that there has to be this practice of trying to get out of the passing and, and also get out of the future too much. Um, and just try your best to uh, pay attention to what's going on in, in the moment now. Uh, you know, do your you do your things now. Take time now, uh, and don't worry. Everything is really unfolding in perfect timing here. I mean, you got this thing about looking for a sign as well. What else for the viewer? Yep. See, allow yourself to receive. So, viewer, you're going to. The more you get out of. Uh, well, you know, the more you just you know, kind of surrender and retreat, the more you're in tune, the more fluid you are. So you're getting ready to receive here. I mean, this is really, this is big. Okay. There's something that's going to open up um, your, your abilities even more. And a lot of you already are giving to others. And so spirit is already knowing it's time for you viewer to finally get more for yourself so that you can continue to give more for others or whatever is you're doing here. It's all about you uh, coming into having more and feeling more than enough, okay? So you're getting ready to receive something and a lot of you, I mean, look at this, increase your intuition, energy, and your ability to give others. And just really get this thing about you um, and your uh, abilities, your, your gifts really increasing for the better, okay? What else for the viewer? Okay. So look at this. We got this retreat. Stop trying to make things, something happen. And we got otter. We got this. Look. So it's like literally spirit doesn't want you doing anything. Let go of control. It's the control that is causing stagnation or causing, um, you know, and I don't want to say it's causing it. <laughs> At some point, we all have to learn our limits of what we can and cannot control. So right now, there's a lot of messages about you being in, uh, being receptive, which means not forcing something to happen, just being in the present moment and being willing and open to take that opportunity and, and, and receive it, okay? What else for the viewer? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out how is spirit helping the viewer? How is spirit helping the viewer? Getting help from others. Look at this. So you will get the help and the support that you guys need. Um, stay present in the moment. Easy does it. There's no need to hurry. Uh, spirit's going to help you guys. Ask for help when you need it and get the help that you guys need. Because again, we've got that 10 of wands. So there may be something here with helping you and aiding you and releasing and, and starting something new too, or at least uh, relieving you of some duties or obligations, um, or there's something about getting a you know, huge enlightenment that really frees you. So Spirit is helping you guys ask for help and getting the help you need. How else is Spirit helping the viewer? With your boundaries? Mm-hmm. 
I mean, because you've worked so hard. Look at this. You've worked so hard to create your independence. Um, and I'm just seeing you as this peacock. I mean, just beautiful, radiant, um, abundant. Or meant to be very abundant. So, yeah. Spirit's helping you with... Um, where did this come from? Well, okay, we'll take that too. Spirit's helping you with boundaries and standing your ground here. So there is something about... I'm like... You know, there is something for some of you guys, because um, I kept that perseverance, right? Standing up for what you guys know is right for you, not taking less than what you deserve. And some of you, you need to say no to, uh, you need to say no to others' demands on your time and your energy. This is what Spirit's helping you with. And then let's see this. Oh, this was a card that was flipped over. <laughs> sacred space okay so viewer let's find out what is an uh what's a outcome for the viewer here what's an outcome for the viewer outcome for the viewer Okay, all these cards are all messed up. Oh, well. Completion. I mean, wow. What a beautiful, beautiful reading. Okay. I love that your outcome is completion. <laughs> and it's the four of wands. So, where? You, okay, so let me just say this. Um, I, I want to say the four of wands and this completion, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is coming through here. Let me make sure this is the Four of Wands. I'm pretty sure that this is... Hold on, viewer. This has got to be the Four of Wands. I want to make sure. So, viewer, sorry about that. I wanted to make sure, and I was right. It is the Four of Wands. This is like a new um, tarot deck. So, anyhow viewer if there's anything tied around home or a home um spirit's helping you with that spirit's also helping you guys come to a place where you can actually uh rest and feel good about your achievements there may be something with a commitment um and partnerships and coming into a significant um, situation with another or others that is going to feel like a homecoming it's going to feel like home um, and I do see something wrapped around with home for a lot of you guys or getting the home or something about your home um, environment. So, yeah, Spirit's helping you guys with the Four of Wands and completing something and really hitting a big milestone in your life, viewer. And for some of you viewers, the Four of Wands... Um, you know, can lead to engagements, um, marriage. It could lead to a lot of things. But mostly I'm getting this thing about you guys feeling very complete with who you are and feeling very satisfied um, and coming into the right situations um, uh, and people. Let me get one more, too, with this Four of Wands for you uh, for outcome. Let me get a little bit more. Yeah, tread thoughtfully. Okay, so you're you're. <laughs> there is something about you guys being very um, using your discernment, using your intuition, using everything right now because there's something about you guys with this coyote using your discernment, accepting your follies, and tread carefully, right? Uh, narrow pathway. You got there. You're going to really go where you need to go here. Um, tread thoughtfully. Remember, there's something going on with. Um, you know, being in the past and the future. So stay in the present moment so that you are uh, treading carefully or thoughtfully here and getting to a significant um, milestone and completion in your life, viewer. Okay. I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.